Good afternoon, and welcome to this Veterans Day celebration for 2020. I'd like to start with an opening prayer. God, our Father, giver of life, we entrust the United States of America to your loving care. You are the rock on which this nation was founded. You alone are the true source of our cherished rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Reclaim this land for your glory and dwell among your people. Send your spirit to touch the hearts of our nation's leaders. Open their minds to the great worth of human life and the responsibilities that accompany human freedom. Remind your people that true happiness is rooted in seeking and doing your will. As we gather this day to remember those men and women that have given so much to protect this great nation, may they never be forgotten for the purposes for which they served. We ask that your love shower down on all the veterans that are here now and with us and that they will continue to remind citizens of this nation that to serve is to care without question. This day is in remembrance of the call for peace around the world. May peace always be in our hearts. Amen. I'm Jerry Geiger, a member of the Sons of American Legion, Canby Squadron 122, under the guidance of Canby American Legion Post 122. Why am I giving this address? I was not in the military. I filled out the paperwork and I went, but they only take the best. I didn't quite make it. I grew up surrounded by military veterans. My dad, uncles, many friends of my parents, and as I have gotten older, many of my classmates and people I have worked with and recreated with are veterans. I'm honored here in my 40th year as a member of the Sons of American Legion to share with you a few words on such an important American day. This day will always be remembered, not even a pandemic severe storm or politics can shut down this day of honor and gratitude. Today we honor all American military, all branches, men and women, active or inactive, retired and honorably discharged for their time in the military, no matter how brief or how long. Many of you may not know that there, were, there are over more than 60 days each year that recognize the military in some significant way. This day, Veterans Day, is a federal holiday. It's always on November 11th, unless on a Sunday or a Saturday, at which time it's honored, honored on Friday or Monday, making it a true federal day of remembrance. This day, we honor all who raised their hand and said, I do, I will, and I want to serve no matter where or when. Today is also Armistice Day and Remembrance Day, which are celebrated in other countries that mark the anniversary of the end of World War I. Those country, countries were our allies during the war. I'm not here to give you a history lesson. As Americans, we need to take the time to familiarize ourselves and families with the history of the military in America. But it is important that I share with you that on this day, 102 years ago, the armistice with Germany went into effect, ending the hostilities of World War I. That occurred on and in the 11th month, on the 11th day, at the 11th hour. In 1954, this day became Veterans Day in the United States. We have two days that are remembered most. They are, of course, Veterans Day on this day, 
and Memorial Day, which is in May. Today honors all veterans, and Memorial Day honors those who died, gave all there was to give while in military service. Other days include Armed Forces Day, which honors current military personnel serving, currently active. And there are many more of these days, as I mentioned. Our men and women who enter the military service do not do it for medals and awards, but to keep us safe in the world and preserve our heritage and keep life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness as the American ideal. At this time, I would like to have you take just a moment and watch a short video that's going to be presented about this very day and how it should be remembered and how it should be respected. Thank you. About this video that was just shown, on November 11th, 1999, Terry Kelly was in a drugstore in, in uh, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. At 10.55 a.m., an announcement came over the store's PA system asking customers who would still be on the premises at 11 o'clock to give two minutes of silence in respect to the veterans who have sacrificed so much for us. Terry was impressed with the store's leadership role in adopting the Legion Two Minutes of Silence initiative. He felt that the store's con contribution of educating the public to the importance of remembering was commendable. When 11 o'clock arrived on that day, an announcement was again made asking for two minutes of silence to commence. All the customers, with the exception of a man who was accompanied by his child showed their respect. Terry was angered by this man and the father trying to encourage the store's clerks in conversation, disrupting the time of silence and setting a bad example for his child. This anger was channeled into a beautiful piece of work called, the, and was the video you just watched, a pittance of time. Terry later recorded a pittance of time and included it on full length music CD, The Power of the Dream. And he had used retired military people in that video that were part of the end of World War I's families and members of World War II. From the Royal Canadian Legion, Todd Morden Branch Number 10 and Woodbine Height Branch Number 2, and they participated in this video. So you see, military support operations like the American organizations like the American Legion and VFW, Veterans of Foreign Wars, exist for many reasons. It's an opportunity for all branches of military members to gather and show solidarity in the so support of each other for their time served away from home and remembering the value of that time for this great nation. The true meaning is to take care of those veterans in need and give back to their communities, the youth and the elderly, elderly, all those in need. So what can we do to honor the military throughout the year? If you're a veteran, become a member of the American Legion Post or veteran of foreign wars post. If you're a citizen, non-military, consider seeing if you are eligible to become a member of one of the associated organizations of the VFW or American Legion. And always support the activities of these organizations 
By doing this, there will always be a guarantee that veterans in their days and times of need or in their senior years of life will always be cared for in some way. I leave you with this. The United States military service are not about war, but about peace. Peace is at the heart of our nation, a nation that has a strong and vibrant military and that honors their military members always will be admired by all other nations and respected for their love of their country. At this time, I'd like to have Martin Lackner come forward, who is the commander of VFW 6057, to share a few words. I'd like to start off by saying thank you to Mr. Geiger for his his poignant message and his dedication to giving that message is obviously represented in his words. I'm Commander Martin Lackner from the Veterans of Foreign Wars, Post 6057, Canby Aurora. I can't add much to what Mr. Geiger said. I think he did a good job of conveying the message. This memorial that I stand at obviously is dedicated to the memory of the men and women who served in the Republic of Vietnam during the Vietnam War. For those who came home, and more importantly, for those who didn't. But it doesn't just stand for them, it stands for all veterans of all services, of all wars, who stood and defended the freedom, not only in our country, but the message of freedom for countries across the world. What I'd like to do at this time is implore the citizens of Canby, those people who visit Canby, come to this memorial, receive this message outside of this city, this state, to remember that freedom isn't free. There's a price to be paid. And this memorial represents that price. Liberty applies to all of us, each and every one. So when you come across your fellow American out there, greet them. Present them with the courtesy that you would like to have. Remember the debt that was paid to give you that freedom and that liberty. And treat each other with respect so that our nation can heal and honor those who cannot be here to celebrate this day. Thank you very much. God bless America. At this time, I would like to introduce the rifle team from American Legion Post 122, who will conclude this event. Attention. Court arm. Prepare to fire. Move. Load. Aim. Fire. Load. Aim. Fire. Load. Thank you for allowing me and the members of our VFW and Canby Post, uh, Legion Post, to be here and to share. 
As we leave here and go our separate ways, we must remember we are the home of the free because of the brave. Let's close with a prayer. Dear God, please bless the veterans who wore the faded uniform. May they, may they know the peace of a career well served and service completed. Give them our thanks for the doors opened, the paths paved, and the battles fought. Give them our thanks for the freedom preserved, future defended, and ideals embodied. Bless the veterans who defended our country with strength and selfless devotion. And dear God, please bless the organizations that tirelessly support our veterans. May they continue their service for others and give glory to you always. We ask this in your son's name, amen. Thank you so much. This concludes our Veterans Day ceremony. Oh.